Hey everybody, so today we are doing a gun video. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, basically, I just bought a Glock 19 and uh, we're gonna do some, add some things on it. I didn't do a video on this because uh, basically there are so many videos already out there on YouTube, like literally thousands of people reviewing this uh, handgun. But as always, safety first. There's no mag inside. Making sure there's no round in the chamber. It's empty and we're good. So today, I got some things from Amazon and Optics Planet. Uh, first is the uh, this tool. It's the Vism, and basically it's to take off the dovetails on my Glock. And I also got a bore cider and a mounting plate. Uh, this was from Amazon. I got the titanium one. It's the DPP for Glock. It cost uh, 39 bucks. Oh, so this also costed 52 bucks and the bore cider was uh, 17. And here is the red dot that I got from Optics Planet. And let me open this up really quick. Okay, this is what I got. It's the Vortex Venom uh, red dot for a Glock, for my Glock. I got this in the 3.25 MOA. And inside it comes with uh, a little, the little Allen wrench tool. So basically, in here, this is what it has. Here's, a, here's the cover for the red dot. This is the red dot itself. Some mounting screws, a plate, if, I, if you were gonna put it on, let's say like an AR, and the battery. So the main reason why I chose the Venom over the Viper is because of the battery placement. Uh, before I bought this, uh, I actually uh, looked at red dots for a while and to be honest, I didn't want an RMR on this. I wanted it for maybe like a better gun because the next uh, the next handgun I'm going to get, get is most likely a FN509. And I'm thinking I'll put a Trijicon RMR on that. But for the Glock, because this will be my everyday carry, uh, most likely this Vortex one I'm gonna put on. So this way, if it gets a little bit banged up, uh, it's it won't be too bad of a loss. So anyways, uh, just some little things on here that attracted me to it was basically if you could see on here, this is where the battery goes. And then this is to uh, dim the lights or make the, make the dots uh, brighter. And then up here, we got your elevation dial. And here is uh, the windage right here on the side. But that's about it. And uh, it's actually very basic. Uh, I'm gonna put this on now and most likely I'll uh, speed it up and and do it like that so something about this i'd like to let you guys know they actually come with uh when you buy this tool it actually comes with these little polymer plastic things that you put right here and I did open this before I made this video and I shoved these two on 
but they do give you a total of four. Four of these uh, polymer plastic things so you don't scuff up the, uh, the slide on your pistol. See, came out. Now as for the plate, it's really cool. Uh, here's some, the mounting screws that they give you. And then it comes with this. It's for the uh, Barres, the Fast Fire 2 the Vortex Venom and also the Vortex Viper. And then they also give you uh, these type of screws also. Two different Allen wrenches and the plate itself. Now to put on the plate, basically you just get the plate, put it on where the dovetail is. Okay, it's inside and it's on. The nice little red dot. Not sure if you guys can see, but it is in there.
and there you go. So overall, putting this red, red dot on, it really only took me probably 15 minutes to do. I'm pretty sure I could do it faster since I know what I'm doing now. Uh, and uh, basically, the, the stuff that came with my uh, wheelers, uh, the little bits, these things are actually kind of soft. I'd suggest to go buy like the DeWalt ones like I have over here. I bought a set of those a while ago. And uh, this light, I can see it perfectly. So uh, it's a great piece of light. I just have to zero it in now. And uh, that's it. I hope you find this informative. And if you like it, please hit like or subscribe if you don't. Uh, please tell me how much you hate it and uh, leave me a message. Thank you. Bye-bye.